Welcome, everyone. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the posting of the colors and remain standing for the national anthem performed by Aaron Smith and the Pledge of Allegiance. Please be seated. Okay. Welcome, everyone. Today, we are all gathered into one building to celebrate Redland High School's graduating class of 2018. But, I am sure as most of you know, it has been quite a ride. Twelve plus years and still going strong. I want to point out something in particular about our class. We live in a generation where we can be who we want to be freely and know we will have the support of others. As our years have progressed, I have watched us not only create better bonds with one another, but have the full support of each other. What better example than to address the elephant in the room? I am an African-American male who was picked to be the class president of a class whose percentage of minorities is under 10%. 
To those of you who voted for me, I thank you. And to those of you who didn't, I wouldn't have voted for me either. But to all the seniors here, I am proud of you, and I would not want to be the class president of anyone else. Coming to speak now is our valedictorian, Aaron Smith, and our salutatorian, Philip Andrioli. Both individuals have exceeded expectations and marched to the beat of their own drums. They both are incredibly talented, and the sky's the limit for them. Please welcome Philip Andrioli and Aaron Smith. Wow. Mrs. Sayre, I don't think we discussed inviting all these people to Mrs. Becker's retirement party. <laughs> oh, that's next Saturday. My bad. Anyways, hello everyone. My name is Philip Andrioli, but if you saw me in the hallways, you would know me as Carmen, Thing 1 or Thing 2, Frick or Frack, or most importantly of all, the statistically proven more attractive twin. <laughs> if you haven't guessed already, I have a twin brother. I've decided to include him in my speech today, not because I'm better looking, but because to me, he is family. Fortunately, over the past four years, I have been able to call my friends, teachers, staff, and community at Redland High School my family. What a terrific honor it is to be standing here addressing my family today. My many attempts at coming up with something equal to this honor were consistently met with failure. At first, I thought I would try to say something that might inspire you, but I figured after 18 or so years of having parents lecture you, teachers educate you, and coaches showing you all kinds of ways to better yourself, what could I possibly add? So I decided to use something Mr. Galishka taught me. Statistics. I polled every one of the seniors, and 99% of you said you didn't care what I said as long as I kept it short. <laughs> and one person even wrote, please don't embarrass me. Mr. Rosen, that was a great try, but I recognize your handwriting. <laughs> Anyways, Instead of an inspirational speech, I've decided to share the most important thing that I have learned at Redland High School. When I came to this school as a freshman, I knew there were great teachers, coaches, counselors, and mentors. If I were to name every teacher who have made a positive impact on my life, I could simply read the school staff directory. For instance, I was not necessarily enamored with history, social studies, or economics but all of that changed when I encountered the greatness of Zwadi, Kersetter, Ford, and Frawley. They presented their material with such enthusiasm and insight. Language arts has never been my strong suit either until I was provided with world-class writing techniques and moral insight through the greatness of Gantz, Dorsey, and Barnes. Espanol con Senora Skinner y Senora Span. Dos burritos, por favor. See, Mr. Rosen, I can speak Spanish now. Also, I have always had a love for biology, chemistry, and physics, but never have I had such a deep appreciation for the subject until I met the great Wagner, Gallagher, Dormer, Becker, Hartman, and Brown. I also thought the hardest math problem was how to make the subject interesting. Thanks to the great Mr. Williams' approach to calculus, I do know that a dollar is indeed four quarters, and there is no problem that I can't solve. Speaking of money, Mr. Rosen, you still owe me a dollar for that milk at lunch, so I need that soon. Also, in regards to Mr. Galushka, I must tell you that in addition to being a brilliant teacher, you have taught me the great quality of character through example. Thank you for teaching me an algorithm for life itself. And lastly, we would not be patriots if it weren't for Mr. Slayton, who not only looks good in a teacher work belt, but who has taught us to be patriots for life. With so many great teachers and coaches, I still didn't realize what it really meant to be great. 
while thinking hard about how I felt about Redland, I realized that Redland's true greatness is not just teachers and staff. It is you. All of you. As I thought about the way many of you dedicated your time to things like Minithon or helping at the Special Olympics, I realized that being great is not only a sacrifice for one's achievements, it is a sacrifice at one's own expense to help those less fortunate. There are many acts of selflessness that aren't covered in front of a, in front of a camera, posted about in social media, or touted by others. Many of you work to support yourselves, your future, and your family. Many of you take care of loved ones at homes at your own expense. You don't judge, you don't brag, you don't complain, you just do it. This is what it really means to be great. For most of us, there is no spotlight or recognition. There is only a duty or desire to do good for others. But before you patriots flip to the next page in the books of your lives, whether it be college, technical school, the military, or the workforce, I implore you to remember something that our principal has always said to us. Character is what you do when no one is watching. Ultimately, as you leave this building and you're free to make your own choices, I encourage you to remember what all of your teachers have taught you and to continue to be great, even when no one is watching. Thank you all, great Redland seniors, faculty, and staff, for making my last four years the best ever. Thank you for showing me what it means to be great. decided to dedicate their time to celebrate the education of the next generation. Welcome to our wonderful educators who spend their lives pouring all of their knowledge into investments for the future. And of course, welcome to all of you who feel like never studying another thing for the rest of your lives. Yes, high school education can be quite difficult for a variety of reasons, but Oddly enough, it's all behind us. I hope that all of you get to spend a good portion of time relaxing this summer. I have a feeling I'm going to take a nice disorienting nap when I get home. <laughs> I don't know about you, but thinking about the past four years makes me exhausted. But I digress. I shall now begin with the hopeful wisdom part of the speech. We've all been given a lot of advice as to what to do with our futures, whether it be by parents, teachers, or the most zen guidance counselor of all time. But now we have the chance to make our own decisions. Thanks to the Gonses, I am fully aware of the possibility that we don't have free will and that our brains make decisions before we are conscious of them. But, for the sake of this speech, I ask that you suspend your disbelief for the next few minutes. One of the most important choices that we must make every day is to choose happiness. As a side note, there was a point in fifth grade when I decided that life would be much easier as a hippie. Uh, I founded a hippie club where every Friday we drew peace signs on our hands and draped pre-wrap around our heads to signify a day of pure harmony. Thank you for indulging my fifth grade self-stream. As elusive as happiness seems to be, it is wildly important for every part of the rest of our lives. The darkness of prejudice pervades our society, and many seem to think that the brightness of our screens can distract from the lack of kindness in order to avoid facing the facts. Although social media can connect people all over the world, the addiction to our phones is creating clear isolation. As searching any fact at any time about anyone becomes easier, it is harder to communicate with people face to face. Unfortunately, this increase in time spent with technology correlates with an increase in mental health issues. 
Therefore, I believe that we need to find a compromise between technological advancement and intrinsic contentedness. Now, trust me, I understand that this is no easy feat. Listening to me or Bob Marley singing Don't Worry, Be Happy may not solve anyone's problems, but self-care is an important starting point. Considering that you are your definite lifelong partner, you might as well treat yourself with compassion and respect. If life becomes too stressful, treat yourself. Be sure to find time to enjoy life. And yet, self-care can also be completing homework, doing laundry, and generally getting out of bed in the morning. With a little help from the foot-in-the-door phenomenon, complying with these little acts can provide balance, which could potentially assist with committing to the bigger goal, a happier existence. Clearly, we all have different views of what true happiness looks like, but that is why these next few years are such a critical time in our lives. By venturing out in the, into the world, we get the chance to find where we fit and what our own version of bliss could be. Topics as seemingly trivial as happiness and self-care are not talked about nearly enough, but will be essential to our independence in the upcoming years. And since my grades somehow earned me the opportunity to talk to all of you, I will leave you with this. You cannot expect happiness to fall upon you. The best way to ensure your well-being is to find peace of mind within yourself. Fight for your own happiness. Congratulations, class of 2018. Enjoy life. Thank you guys. With every laugh we have shared, every tear we have shed, every sweat we have worked up, and every victory royales we have won on Fortnite, we have done it at some point with each other, and that is what makes us a family. We have had our ups, and we have had our downs, but we are willing to fight through it, and whatever the result, we can't accept it, and if we can't comply, we will work to correct it. I'm sorry, Mr. Slayton, but it is time for us to leave our field of rye once and for all. <sighs> After today, I hope you not only feel a sense of accomplishment, but a sigh of relief. Unless you're going back to school, then good luck. Whatever you may do after today, I hope you are successful and happy and you become the best at it because you are a Redland Patriot and we are Patriots for life. Thank you all for the honor of speaking to you today. The following platform guests are joining us this afternoon for our commencement. Please hold your applause until all have been introduced. The platform guests for the commencement of 2018 consist of Mrs. Melinda Stuck. Mrs. Suzanne Tabacchini, Mr. Frank Cambic, Mr. Brian Geistwhite, Mr. Thomas Bernheimer, Mr. Brett Sanders, Dr. Tammy Jones, Mrs. Kelly Williamson, Dr. Thomas Falvo, Mrs. Judith Presenzi, Mrs. Holly Sayer, Dr. Todd Stoltz, and Dr. Jamie Y. Please be seated. We are honored that many of our teachers are here with us this evening in academic dress representing their institutions of higher learning and academic fields of study. On behalf of the senior class, I would like to thank our teachers for their inspiration, encouragement, and support. I ask them to stand at this time to be recognized, and I invite you all to join the class in a round of applause.
Commencement awards will now be presented by Mr. Richard Rosen, the teacher of the gifted students, and Mrs. Holly W. Sayer, Redland High School's principal. High School Parent Advisory Committee meets monthly with the principal to discuss district initiatives, upcoming events, and other featured topics. Each year, this committee awards scholarships to students who have demonstrated accomplishment in a variety of disciplines. Graduates, please stand to be recognized when your name is called. For outstanding accomplishment in the field of art, Redland High School Parent Advisory Committee recognizes both Yashira Tovar and Benan Nguyen. <clears throat> For outstanding leadership, attitude, musicianship, and performance in band, the Redland Parent Advisory Committee awards Sarah Powell. Greatest proficiency in business education, congratulations to Emily Fruth. For demonstrating the highest achievement in the field of electronics, congratulations to Carter Halley. For outstanding achievement in the area of English and language arts, Commendations to Aaron Smith. As a student with a promising career in graphic communications, Will Garrett is identified to receive this honor. For outstanding achievement in the Junior ROTC program, congratulations to Sophia Spadacino. For outstanding achievement in mathematics, we recognize Aaron Smith. For strong leadership, attitude, musicianship, and performance in orchestra, the Chimneys Violin Shop awards a check to Malena Carey. For achievement in the highest overall performance in boys' physical education, Redland High School Parent Advisory Committee commends Zach Silvio. <laughs> For achievement as the highest overall performance in girls' physical education, Redland High School Parent Advisory Committee commends Ryan Sokash. For exhibiting distinguished work in science, we recognize Aliyah Wrightstone. For high achievement in social studies, congratulations to Avery Troutman. In memory of Charles William Thomas, a past director of vocal music at Redland High School, the honor of distinguished performance in vocal music goes to Aaron Smith. The Redland Area Women's Club proudly presents a scholarship award for the Cumberland Perry Area Vocational Technical School student with the highest scholastic average. Congratulations to Haley Dunn. For outstanding performance and promise in the field of woodworking, the Redland Parent Advisory Committee congratulates Colin Chopak. For outstanding proficiency and performance in a world language, we recognize Marina McKinney.
And, and now, on behalf of the faculty of Redland High School, it is my honor to award a scholarship to a girl and boy who, during their high school years, have most nearly met the faculty perception of the ideal students. Congratulations to Bailey Ebert and Danny Bloor. And now it gives me great pleasure to acknowledge and recognize two students who have achieved the highest grade point average overall. The Redland Area Women's Club presents this cash award to the senior student who has attained the second highest scholastic average. This year's salutatorian is Philip Andrioli. The Redland Area Women's Club presents this final cash award to the senior student who has attained the highest scholastic average. This year's valedictorian is Aaron Smith. Mrs. Holly W. Sayer will now present the class of 2018. Good afternoon, members of the class of 2018, distinguished platform guests, administration, faculty members, parents, family members, and friends. There's a lot of joy in this room right now. Yes. There's a lot of joy in this room. The graduates, you're certainly joyful right now because, well, you're going to receive your high school diploma. Mom and dad, grandparents, aunts, uncles, cousins, friends are thrilled right now for at least one of the graduates here today. The teachers are delighted that they were able to help you earn your diploma. And the administrators are all pleased that, once again, your sense of patriot pride is contagious and a model for underclassmen. Graduation day is overwhelmingly a joyful celebration. Describing joy can seem challenging, but the more you tune into it, the more you feel it, the more meaning and purpose you experience. I had a very joyful experience yesterday. My husband and I ordered Chinese food to celebrate the ending of a successful school year. When I opened the fortune cookie, it said, happy life is just in front of you. So I looked up. In front of me was a beautiful little brown-eyed girl with golden locks and a captivating smile, giving me an unconditional loving look. My dog, Liberty, was staring back at me in true Golden Retriever style. She brings me a lot of joy, and that's where you'll find joy, happiness, and greatness, not just with a beloved pet, but among your family and friends. You'll be the most happy, the most happy knowing that there are people who can depend on you and you can depend on. Be dependable allow people to take care of you, be happy, be great, and be joyful. We've already witnessed several joyful occurrences of this class. $3.1 million in scholarship money has been awarded to this class sitting before us. A third of the class of 2018 received academic, athletic, or scholarship awards. One student was a National Merit Scholarship finalist, and one student, having enrolled in HACC, met the associate's degree requirement. These advanced placement seniors were part of the West Shore School District's AP Honor Roll. Furthermore, 88% of the students who took the advanced placement tests the past three years 
received a score of three or better on the AP exam, giving them college credit before they arrive at the doors of an institution of higher learning. Over 50 students participated in hack dual enrollment or college in the classroom. Two students were named to the 2018 Patriot News Best and Brightest and honored as the Sentinel and UMPC Pinnacle Teens of the Week. It is especially important to acknowledge and salute our 21 graduates who will be enlisting in the military and a number of our graduates who are first responders and serve our community. Please stand. Let's put our hands together and give a standing ovation to these graduates of the class of 2018 and all of our men and women of the armed forces and first responders who protect our country. 29 students were named students of the quarter at Cumberland Perry Vocational Technical School. 35 students received certificates of completion and 28 students also excelled in passing the NOCT test and earning a Pennsylvania Skills Certificate. This group of seniors competed four straight years at the state level in Science Olympiad. One senior earned a spot at the debate team state tournament and competed among the best public speakers in Pennsylvania. The West Shore Marching Band won the Tournament of Bands Region 6 Championships, won the U.S. Bands Pennsylvania State Group 5 Open Championships, and placed third at U.S. Bands Group 5 Open Class National Championships. Redland High School was also represented in county, district, and regional orchestra, chorus, and band honors festivals. Two students were considered two of the finest student musicians in the state as they were selected to PMEA All-State Band and Chorus. The Indoor Guard won the Keystone Indoor Drill Association Championships Platinum Division and placed ninth at the Winter Guard International Championships in the Scholastic Open Division. On the athletic playing field at the district level, 16 Redland teams qualified or had seniors qualify for district playoffs. Four teams qualified or had seniors qualify for state playoffs. And 14 seniors are moving on to compete in athletics at the collegiate level. Not only did we have our annual mini-thon and talent show, but also the generous spirit of the Redland family contributed close to $80,000 to numerous charitable causes. Patriot for Life is not just a motto. It's a reality. The essence of this spirit is captured in happiness, greatness, and joy. All of you have your own path. Choose a path that will bring you these things. And remember, wherever you go from here, you will always be a patriot for life. It is a pleasure and honor and with great patriot pride that I declare to you Dr. Stoltz, Superintendent of Schools, and to you Mrs. Crescenzi, President of the Board of School Directors, that these members of the class of 2018 have met all the requirements for graduation, including required subjects and total credits. They are prepared to seek a new path and create new traditions, and therefore are entitled to receive a Redland High School Diploma from the West Shore School District. Welcome, Redland class of 2018. Before I get into my remarks, I would like to just take a moment and ask Mrs. Sherry Moyer, 
uh, one of our board members and distinguished um, uh, platform guest to stand. I believe that we inadvertently missed her earlier in the uh, presentation, but thank you for being here. And she is a patriot for life. So if you were here earlier, you're going to hear very similar remarks and um, uh, some parts of what Carmen, I, I mean Philip, um, uh, mentioned earlier about family. But today we join together to celebrate, take pause, and applaud your accomplishments. Your school-related achievements and your service to the community are just two of the many ways you make us West Shore proud. Over the last year or so, you may recall Actually, in Redland's case, we did some interviews with seniors, and we spent a lot of time asking you about what your plans following graduation were, how you were intending to get there, how you would pay for it, etc. Some of you had rock-solid plans, some not so much. Regardless of your plans, our goal was to better prepare you for life after graduation. In this year's class, we had a significant number of seniors who participated in, in at least one college in the high school course, earning college credit before graduation from high school. We had students who were placed in life-changing pathway internships where they had first-hand experiences in career fields of their choice and interest. We had students who participated in pre-apprenticeship programs who have been offered full-time employment immediately following graduation. We had students secure employment during the school year. Many students have created, produced, or otherwise participated in experiences I never dreamed possible when I was in high school. Among you are students who have already produced films and video, are accomplished artists and musicians, are high-achieving academics, and are skilled, skilled craftsmen in various trades. So no matter what tomorrow holds for you, I encourage you to do two things. Set goals. If you don't have a target, you'll never hit it. I say this one every year. You'll never hit it if you don't have a target. Find things that you love. Find things that you feel passionate about, things that make you happy. Determine your path for getting to where you want to be, and then commit yourself to work hard, persist over time and challenges, to strive for and attain excellence in no matter what you do. Before I get to the second thing, I do want to pause long enough, and I know some of you were here for the morning ceremony, but I'm going to ask you again, and I actually think there are some graduates of this morning that now fit this category that are in attendance now. I would like to pause long enough to ask all of the West Shore School District alumni in attendance to stand. If you are a West Shore graduate, would you please uh, rise and be recognized? I see you. Thank you. And now back to our regularly scheduled program. So the second thing for you to do, and this is the part about family. Families stay in touch. It is abundantly clear that people value living and raising a family in the West Shore community and everything we have to offer. I encourage all of you to stay in touch with us. That includes you too, alumni. We are interested in your future and look forward to sharing your experiences with future generations of students. You see, something we learned this year, and I suppose we probably knew this to some extent, it seems like young 20-somethings make more of an impact on some of the things that they share about experiences in life outside of uh, high school than what some of the old heads do um, when we talk. So when you're off doing great things and need some guidance and direction, remember, we're always here. Mrs. Sayre, it gives me great pleasure as the superintendent and appointed representative of the Board of School Directors of the West Shore School District to accept the list of graduating seniors for 2018 from Redland High School. I do hereby certify and affirm in the presence of all assembled here today that each individual has met or exceeded the requirements for graduation set forth by the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania and the West Shore School District and is ready to receive his or her diploma. I am pleased to present the graduating class of 2018 to the parents family, friends, alumni, and community, and offer them our best wishes for happiness 
and fulfillment as they pursue their future endeavors. Diplomas will now be awarded by Mrs. Holly W. Sayer, our principal, Mr. Nathan McGlynn, Mr. Ryan Edwards, and Ms. Jen Taylor, mm -hmm. our assistant principals, and Ms. <clears throat> Heather Wolf and Mrs. Trish Klinger, our senior class deans. Edward Tyrese Kerr. Aaron Christina Smith. Philip William Andrioli. Aiden Thomas Moore. Mitchell Wade Hoke. Kira Lynn Christian. Hannah Lee Shope. Timothy James Smith. Anthony Michael Curatola. Aliyah Marie Wrightstone. Casey Jade Wool. Bryce Andrew Carl. Jesus Ivan Ramirez. Caitlin Nicole Miller. Diana Lee Carabello. Ian Christopher Myers. Dylan Craig Poitronal. Hope Marie Frederick. Carly Jean Farrow. Justin David Wenzel. Benjamin James Walsh. Natalie Elaine Minkoff. Margaret Ann Kishball. Zeb Connor Stauk. Dakota Adam McLean. Sarah Rebecca Powell. Emily Elizabeth Ellis. Dylan Jacob Snell. Tyler Anthony Gaswint. 
Nicole Catherine Slabonic. Samantha Marie Mooney. Jack Joseph Herzog. Ryan Scott Brown. McKenna Marie Brown. Savannah Noel Metz. Aiden Quinn Connor. Ryan Tyler Smith. Marie. Chloe Marie Sia. Haley Star Mattox. Zachary Michael Silvio. Wyatt Blackburn Park. Allison May Uptograph. Olivia Louise Park. Brandon Thomas Costello. Joseph Michael Crescenzi. Kylie Rose Martin. Madison Kenzie Lorello. Keith Brendan Pate. Joseph Benjamin Gomer. Emma Catherine Stadler. Amanda Marie Brandt. Spencer Allen Todd. Jarrett Michael DeHart. Serena Marie Fleming. Shelby Catherine Sisson. Colton Joseph Henline. Dakota James McCreary. Lindsay K. Smolensky. Ashlyn Paige Hemperly. Jordan William Myers. Zachary Craig. Brumbaugh. Emily Rose Myers. Ebony Sage Griggs. Corey Jacob Donnelly. Trenton Lee Freeman. Emily Nicole Fry. Claire Kaede Kelly. Jonathan David Butler. Derek Eugene Wright. Amber Nicole Kelly. Kylie Victoria McClure. Jordan Lee Weldon. Church Tristan Clausey. Victoria Marie Stock. Angelis Marie Vargas. Tanner Carl Rebman. Joey Khalil Cato. 
Taylor Kathleen Snyder. Angelina Jane Mance. Nolan Michael Obdegraf. Carmen Anunzio Andrioli. Kylie Marie Dibler. Hollis Virginia Colmansberger. Joshua Aaron Lucas. Bailey Amanda Ebert. Haley Rose Dunn. Tyler James Rhyme. Dylan Michael Cruz. Tabitha Nicole McQuait. Zaya Victoria Ferrafino. Jonathan Wesley Beeston. Jacob William Spong. Minahil Abbas. Ben Ann T. Wynn. Caden Alexander Sharine. Zachary Joden Sozansky. Madison Caroline Ann Marrow. Ryan Olivia Sokash. Thomas Anthony Kulcher. Armando Christopher Williamson. Adina Morgan Leitner. Malena Elizabeth Carey. Colin Robert Buffington. Bryce Richard Smee. Sierra Joe Laporta. Ariana Josephine Collins Rubitone. Tyler Andrew Schertz. Scott Michael Gasford. Alexandra Jordan Greer. Madison Alexandra Sedaris. Mitchell Hunter Robertson. Jacob Robert Fox. Isabella Angeline Marchioni. Megan Andrea Kiefer. Kyle Joseph Ziegelmeyer. Hayden James Bankus. Alexis Kim Taverna. Laney Suzanne Meener. Matthew Frederick Seifert. Ryan Thomas Schwarz. Tay Olivia Bailey Schaffner. Tabitha Marie Oxer. Sean Patrick O'Leary. William Logan Patterson. Carolyn Suzanne Klitsch. Elizabeth Rose Grimm. Jake Austin Carlson. 
Sean Michael Neff. Autumn Nicole Lex. Veronica Victoria Karakina. Patrick Davis Stoll. Zachary Andrew Flegel. Alicia Tan. Courtney Margaret Collins. Matthew Wilkinson. Frederick Lane Briggs. Clea Nicole Lamb. Emma Marie Crishon. Trey Dylan Williams. Eric. Matthew Akon. Riley Ann Fisher. Rebecca Marie Albers. Ryan James Rohr. Alexander Wayne Stammel. Carrie Elizabeth Snellbaker. Ashley Jean Miller. Clayton Cole Benu. Winston Maxwell Robelier. Victoria Francis Hull. Talisa Alexandra Aguirre. Evan Joseph Klein. Angel Manuel de Jesus. Madeline Ruth Roman. Casey Josephine Elliott. Connor Aaron Mikesell. Noah Joseph Mackman. Grace Ashton Lundvall. Jessica Lauren Sizoskis. Bruce Conrad Worth. Nathan Alexander Ingersoll. Yashira Elvera Tovar. Krista Marie Green. Aiden Jacob Carroza. Andrew Paul Foremni. Yael Mary Flurry. Kaylee Ann Harnden. Sam Garrett Curatola. Neith Michael Brennan, Jr. <laughs> Hannah Alexis Ziders. Kirsten Elizabeth Knapp. Jonathan Thomas Cavanaugh. Christopher Michael Ray. Yeah. 
Maria Belen Cali Lacaro. Brittany Lane Dumas. Adam Hunter Rothermel. Cole Andrew Cuomo. Kayla Jane Wetzel. Caitlin Grace Fox. Isaac Jeffrey Ziegler. Wesley Clarence Allen Dunlap. Carmela Jayla Tonzik. Jessica Ann Lamarca. Matthew Chase Donley. Ryan Andrew Boyle. Ryan Ashley Rankin. Alexandra Nicole Hess. Tanner Brian Zimmerman. Sean Spencer Klein. Elizabeth Faith Getz. Haley Elise Vanderslice. Troy David Cranach. Jonathan Paul Dravik. Bailey Mariah Crick. Deidre Ann Forney. Dylan Matthew May. Joseph Wade Barshinger. Jacqueline Ann Everly. Mayanna Elizabeth Quickle. Jalen Anthony Hudson. Cameron Troy Fortney. Kaylin Rose Starr. Brianna Marie Funk. Samuel Alexander Duffy. Gavin Scott Fournier. Haley Elizabeth Anderson. Victoria Ruth Ann Lohman. Dakota Connor Harrison. Christopher Leland Hoover. Peyton Jean Cottrell. Caitlin Elizabeth Gilmore. Nicholas Daniel Hummel. Arthur Raymond Arshambo. Autumn Jade Kai Seriano. Sarah Nicole Fenical. Kyle Douglas Keach. William James Garrett. Lauren Margaret McGinnis. Hannah Grace Sutton. Keenan Wells Demmer. Justin Whitney Beck. (laughs) 
Ariane Geraldine Brown. Alyssa Ann Farrar. Logan Tyler Bartholomew. Colin David Chopak. Hannah Elizabeth Vaccaro. Aaron Taylor Chopak. Daniel Levi Blakesley. Daniel Alexander Bloor. Sarah Grace Suya Blakesley. Morgan Elizabeth Wagner. Daniel Charles Bowser. Zachary Levi Gross. Mackenzie Lee Jones. Kelly Ann Hall. Cameron Joseph Englert. Carter Pierce Halley. Molly, Molly Marie Walter. Sophia Marie Spadacino. Matthew David Bowser. Justin Tyler Raber. Marina Mayping McKinney. Maitland Anna Whitmer. Tyler Thomas Gessner. Cole Matthew Quigley. Avery Kirsten Troutman. Tanya Thee Fan. Benjamin Philip Lair. Bruce Andrew Fenstermacher. Jacqueline Rose Coronado. Brianna Lee Boyer. Ethan Augustus Meisel. Jonathan Roger Dolan. Haley Ann Snyder. Colin Andrew Thrush. Brandon Adam Weigel. Morgan Catherine Maranto. Cassandra Marie Graham. Osvaldo Torres. Seth William Moore. Chance Takoda Herman. Savannah Lene Derrickson. Ashley Nicole Miller. Nathan Edward Thomas Soy. Jeremy Andrew Baker. Alexis Elizabeth Flickcraft. Maggie Elizabeth Posick. Jared Tyler Schrantz. Ahmad Adib Rashid. Aliyah Alexandra Dietz. 
Emily Lauren Fruth. Zachary Tyler Fadley. Archer Chase Hausman. Hannah May Peterson. Casey Shale Benish. Adam Christopher Kemmler. Michael Ray Peffer. Elizabeth May Reinhardt. Patricia Morgan Ann Kemmer. Michael E. Smith. Drew Mary Payne. Will the class members please rise and join me in the turning of the tassels. Congratulations, class of 2018. of 20, 2018 and our guests please rise and sing the Redland alma mater.
thank you for joining us this evening. We ask the audience to remain in the stands while the class of 2018 exits together for the last time during the academic recessional. Leave it there.